All right, so I'm playing uh, Silent Hill 3. I have my Adidas tank top on. It's a little looser fitting, so it's kind of comfortable. Um, like my Under Armour, I don't know what fabric it is. It's like rayon or something. Uh, they kind of like thread. And they get like tight around like the chest. And then... Uh, they get like loose around the waist so it's like not as nice to wear them so yeah I'm like drunk playing uh, Saturn 3 I think they watered down my alcohol I'm pretty sure because I only got drunk once from the entire bottle um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure they like, they watered down the alcohol. It's kind of weird. This entire area is like... I thought I was going to be running around the run out. Like the... The run around. This part's kind of crazy because you have to like... Run around. Like the subways and stuff. Yeah, this place is completely boring. I must have skipped over this area. I just need to get back to like the main area. Ah. This is kind of cool. So I found out why, why would something like this be here? This isn't a hospital. So I found out that there's also a Silent Hill Origins too. I don't know how they've released so many games on the PS2. Like, I had no idea. <sighs> Door shut tight. It won't open at all. Okay, so it looks like I'm going the right way. I can't believe I have to, like, run, like, all the way back here. It's weird, so... <clears throat> I don't know. That that was like like my alcohol had like like orange pulp that sat in it for like a day. So whatever. Alright, so I need to run a little bit this way. So it kinda looks like I'm going into hell here. Um because this is like kind of how like they describe how they make the inferno, which is kind of cool. I guess it's like a good way to like teach you the lesson that like if you're running around in like the city on like the subways, you're gonna get lost, like for sure, or something like that. I mean. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather just ignore it entirely. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, I was eating, like, I got, like, a really nice sandwich. Like, because I, I got walked to, like, the convenience store. So, I got, like, I don't know. It was, like, a, just a healthy, healthy sandwich with, like, turkey and I don't know like fresh like veggies and stuff today and it was just very it was like a or like a chunk sandwich it's pretty nice all right so you're pretty sure you went through here so Nice, I'm going the right way. So I got the moonstone and I basically need to put it in this door up here. Um, it's similar to the end of uh, Silent Hill 2. Perfect.
Moonstone. It's just a type of jewel. Not really from the moon. It was inside the walnut somehow. Honestly, I stuck the moonstone into the door. Honestly, I'm super sus of, like, chip technology. Because I know AMD went up, like, 1,500%. And it was, like, in all the consoles. So it was, like, the most obvious, like... Like, they just, like, sent, like, bots to talk to me. Oh, my God. Hopefully it's not game over. Oh my god, dude. That is such a fatal... That is such a fatal, like... Fall, dude. I did so well, too. Oh my god. I felt that. Oh my god. That was almost as bad as this morning I was listening to Call of Cthulhu play Madison. And like the entire game, you have to listen to the audio. Like the game's like, it's like, it's like, oh, it's like, oh my God. And it's like, that big empty noise. And then he's like standing there and he's like, just like monologuing the, the game. And I'm just in there, like, waking up, and I'm like... I don't know. Like, I worked out pretty hard. And I got, like, a good night's sleep, but for some reason this morning I was just, like... Slightly... Like, I was, like, an hour behind, like, when I woke up today. Like, I woke up and I was like, yeah, I, I literally, I can't even go to my computer for like, an hour. I have like no idea. Because they did like this like science experiment, they're like, let's just have him like only sit near people from Hollywood and then like we'll have him sit there in isolation for 15 months all right so i ran over here so like i don't know draining this game because like everything's like so empty and just like this is actually the sequel to the first game by the way this kind of looks like this tile is misplaced a little bit can't do anything with it though oh this is the wrong room i think i'm pretty sure i went into the back room kind of forgot about this room a little bit so yeah like my like my adidas uh, tank top is pretty nice like initially i didn't really like it but it's like kind of comfy like it's just like loose fitting and it's not like tight so it's pretty pretty nice i also obviously have like my my adidas pants on you won't be able to see it on the camera, so whatever. I'm not even like stand up, but I'm a huge fan of like Adidas and Puma. And uh, not most Adidas, some Adidas are too tight. Mostly Puma. Like I like Michael's Kors PJs and uh, Polo PJs. And I mean, Adidas uh, shorts are kind of, they get tight a little bit, but Nike has like nice shorts um they're more expensive ones i'm not gonna say exactly which ones because i don't want to be stalked by like silent hill silent hill 5 or whatever i'm gonna go 
this area. It's kind of upset, upsetting that I have to skip um, Silent Hill Origins though, because like, I don't know, like, I'll just have to watch it on YouTube, no commentary mode, I guess. Oh, it looks like I came through a different way this time. That's odd. Alright, so, yeah, I'm just gonna save in case I accidentally walk off a ledge again. Oh shit, I left my phone on my other side of my room. But yeah, I'm basically gonna run through like uh like the subway and there's like a nemesis like monster to fight, which look kinda cool. And then um you have to like run through like the subways like a lot, which is kinda crazy. I don't know why like the person in the video can like type like oh watch out you can walk off the edge here because then like it's like if you're gonna run through the entire game without making any mistakes like oh my god I just did it again So annoyed because I have like I have like my Xbox plugged into my outlet over here, and then I have like I don't know, like my HDMI converter plugged into the outlet, and then I have like my phone charger is like in my suitcase, and then I have like my other phone charger somewhere else. So it's like I don't know, plugging in my phone charger is just getting annoying. I need to fix that. Before I was looking at like a plastic bag like float by outside and I was trying to think of what like that Radiohead song was called or like plastic bag or whatever. I'm gonna grab my phone while this So I noticed like sometimes my mic like doesn't sound too good. Um, I'm not sure why. I saw some other dude, he was doing this thing where like he basically had the mic underneath him. And then he had it pointed up towards his face. I'm not sure how that sounds. Let's try this out. I don't know how to point it. That's good enough, I guess. Like, you can point it. There we go. That looks like that's good. Alright, perfect. Hmm. Alright, so I'm just gonna climb down this ladder real quick. 
I think it's kind of crazy though that like my drink was like it's pretty whack. Like they definitely nerfed it a lot. And it was like a $50 bottle to only get drunk once. It's kind of kind of awkward. Cuz like I, I this is like the first time I drank in like a year, so This part's kind of cool. Right now my dual sense is it's going ham. I think it's interesting how like it's like mouth or teeth is like connecting by like strings or whatever. Um, oh. It's kind of fun. Hopefully he doesn't like move like while I'm reloading. That'd be super unfair. Yeah, perfect. I'm so stoked to like go through all these games. Cause like I got a uh, Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I ordered that for like 240 bucks. And then I also got um, Silent Hill 4. So I'll be able to play Silent Hill 4 and then Shattered Memories. Shattered Memories, it actually has a... Uh, it's a continuation from Silent Hill 1 with Harry Mason. Uh, it's kind of interesting how they decided to make like a really nice looking boss here. Except it's just like super simple. Like cool music, easy fight. That's very intimidating right there. I know if he bites you, it doesn't really matter. Nice, I got a, a trophy too. So, yeah, I mean, if you lose, you actually end up in a room with, like, 50 trophies, like, IRL. Like, my brother has, like, I, I think, like, 1,200 trophies in his room. So if you lose, you, you just end up in a room with, like, mad trophies. It's kind of weird. It's the shopping mall just like before. Alright, that's kind of sus. I mean... Alright, so Royal Grill. I'm just gonna go under here. So at this point of the story, uh, the detective shows up again. And he's like, oh, like, you just saw Nemesis. And... Yeah, I think I have to go in over here. No. In general, in this game, I, I found that just like going up and to the right usually works. Getting pwned here. Of course, it's like only like the the most obvious door. Heather, uh, it's you. What just happened? You must be one of them. What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? 
What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster, what the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here and I've got a weird feeling it has something to do with it. I don't know why they made like a character Maybe they didn't make her hot. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you. Like Capcom literally. You know, if you hadn't found me... Like, this person's crazy. What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. I remember that. What's wrong? That like uh, clothesline there. Going? It kind of makes me want like mussels with like tomato sauce home. on it. What should I do? Hell if and I pasta. Know. That shit would be so legit. Cause like I like obviously like clams and stuff, but like the mussels taste pretty good. All right, so here's a cat growing strong and healthy. Minmo, cat foods. Minmo. Product availability. I feel like she she would own a Minmo for sure. Imagine fighting Minmo in this game. That'd be pretty crazy. It's like, Minmo, what the fuck is happening to you? Holy shit. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to Hazel Street. I'm definitely going to get annihilated here. Because there's a part where you put uh, beef jerky on the train. And uh, so I, I need to go up here soon. But not right now, I don't think. All right, so over here, I go this way. Oh, there's, yeah, the dude reads the newspaper over here. Watch this. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata College bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 feet 10 inches tall, and was wearing a black jacket. This newspaper is 4 months old. What's it doing here now? So that's like sus. It's like, yeah, like, are they, like, sending each other, like, graffiti symbols or something? Um, like, the subway is very, like, dirty place. Alright, so he read that newspaper and then he ran this way I guess he ran down the stairs I'm pretty sure so I don't know what this entire point like part is about like 
you run down onto the train tracks, you put beef jerky near the dogs. Oh, there's actually a save point here too. Like you put a beef jerky for the dogs and then they get hit by a train and then you run up the stairs and you go all the way to the back of the train. Like I feel like this character is kind of like a meme of like an actual woman. It's like, oh my god, dude, like this entire time she was she was fucking putting beef jerky on the train tracks. Holy shit. It reminds me of uh my one friend, uh like I I had never really taken the train to the city. So we went to like a concert. And uh for the way back, uh basically the person who who rented there, um, like they made us miss the train back. So, like, I didn't know how that worked. And obviously they had to, like, check to see if I knew how that worked or didn't work, or if maybe they didn't know. There's really no way of knowing. Alright, I'm gonna, I guess, I don't... I don't know if like I'm already at the jerky part, but I'm gonna put my beef jerky on the, the tracks. There we go, perfect. Alright, I think I just killed all the dogs. Oh, that didn't work. My game's loading kind of slow. Ah, oh, shit. Hope I don't die. Did I just die? I just got hit by a train. That's exactly what I just did, dude. I guess if you jump on the train tracks twice, you die. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to the north end, I guess. I don't really believe that much in, um, like that particular thing. Oh wait, so it goes back up over here. So that was the original area right there. Yeah, like the guy who does like the stream on YouTube, he's kind of a, he was like going around and like the worst spot like I know he went to like Powell Garden no I need there's like a lock here maybe I could break the lock with the pipe this game loads so slowly I mean even if it doesn't like load like at all that's fine I got the steel pipe and everything oh nice I got the nutcracker perfect so now I could use uh so b before I use like a metal like metal thing on the walnut but however this time I actually used the nutcracker to get to like I don't know it's like Crescent Street or something I couldn't it started with a C I couldn't see what it said
I guess that was like a door at the end over here. It doesn't look like a door though. Yeah, it's not a door. I can't believe like... Oh, here's Concourse. Yeah, I think it goes to Concourse. I still can't believe like Silent Hill happened though. That shit's crazy. Like, there's no reason for Silent Hill to happen. But you, you want to go to fucking Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I think it's a fucking game. Alright, so the path is blocked with trash. I can't go through here. Alright, so I got more bullets. There we go, perfect. I found my way out. So I could maybe use like the nutcracker here. What do you think, chat? Powell? Pretty sure it was more like it was more like of a chain kind of thing. But maybe like I can use it here too. No. Ah, yes, it is Powell Garden, but on the left-hand side. Alright, so I used the Nutcracker. So I should be good here, as long as I don't get hit by a train. Um, if I do get hit by a train, then I just need to go back to Hazel Street. But, I mean, there's like 12 Hazel Streets. So... It's really open to interpretation. Like right now I'm at Hazel Street. Even though I was just at Powell, so. Oh, it's a gift wrap box. Could it be a birthday present? No, I guess not. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. But I'll take it anyway. It should come in handy against the monsters. I got a shoddy. Hell yeah. I'm gonna blow these zombies' heads off. Oh, look at this fat motherfucker right here. Like, dude, I, I watch Cockney vs. Zombies. Like, I don't give a fuck. He went this way, I know. Yeah, there we go. Like, obviously, like, the... What's that thing? The landmark of, like, the fat person? Like, and then just, like... I don't know. Kind of like setting up like the whole, I don't know, it's pretty legit. All right, Bergen Street. It's definitely not Bergen Street. I would have remembered that. Hmm. I'm just going to try the second staircase, I, I feel like. Yeah, at this point, I'm basically guessing. This looks right. I don't know why dogs aren't over here. Maybe it's on down the other way. Alright, so St. Renata College. That sounds right. Imagine going to like a college like that though. It's like, yeah, bro, St. Renata. I like running around on the subway though. It's kind of fun. I don't know how to like get the train to come but not get hit by the train, you know? You know, like that feel. It's like a weird kind of um, like setup. Like there's a train there that you get hit by, or you could avoid it, or you could like get the train to like crash or something. I don't know. So many physics.
getting radio signals here at least. I guess I'll run past the fat guy. I'm gonna try to save. I if I could save over here. I think it's creepy that they have like this many like trash cans everywhere, right? Look at this dude, his like face is like glitching. I'm gonna try north end to save. No. Is that crazy? Like trying to remember if the save point is like pre like metal detector or post metal detector. That's pretty difficult to do. Isn't the newspaper over here? if I can go in this room over here. So what's pretty cool about like um, trains is you can on text message you could actually sign up and uh, you get text alerts for if uh, your train is canceled or not. It's not really that like worthwhile to know this information any longer. Um, but I mean, not a lot of stuff is really useful anymore. Like, I've moved on to, like, higher things, like, labeling things is, like, the wrong thing, and then giving it to people for a discount. Like, I, I had a conversation with Facebook today. I was like, I was like, yeah, so let's take, uh, like, actual real estate. Like, there isn't a lot of real estate. Let's take actual real estate, though, and we'll call it something else, and then we'll let, like, trash like white trailer trash without commitments live in your house it's like all right well if you can't afford to the real estate and you're not from the area then get the fuck out of the area or buy a fucking house in the area okay it's not that hard. If you want to move residences, you shouldn't be able to, like, move residences without actually moving residences. Because that, that's, like, me not moving residences without being able to move residences. Alright, so it sounds like there's more dogs over here. Which I'm kind of feeling, uh, definitely feeling a little bit uh, better about this. I, I do want to go save. Um, I, I think this is the area where I need to like, where I need to put the jerky on the track. I'm not sure though. 
Like I put jerky on the track before and I got hit by a train, so <laughs> Oh, nice. I found the save point. Perfect. I mean, the next save point is on a train, so I feel like this is a good enough part to, like, end. I'll use this as, like, my stream pick, I guess. Eco actions. Perfect. Perfect.